The rivers are choked with it. Marine animals choke on it. Our trash bags are filled with it. It's in the water we drink, the food we eat, and even the air we breathe. It's plastic. Plastics are everywhere, and it seems like we can't live without them. And that's why I'm taking on a very strict seven days no single-use plastic challenge to see if I can make it and what it takes to lead a no-plastic life. Since the 1950s, the mass production of plastic has generated billions of tons of waste annually. Almost a third of all plastic ends up in the environment, where it can linger for hundreds of years. Plastic pollution is one of our biggest environmental concerns, and overuse is its primary cause. Breakfast time. I normally have some slices of bread in the morning, but you know, nearly all cans of bread are wrapped in plastic bags. So what I got this morning are a boiled egg and a bowl of porridge that I pre-cooked last night. And today is the very first day of my challenge. So good luck to myself. Grab some coffee to wake myself up. Wow, I love this place because it encourages customers to bring their own cups and mugs. And if you do so, they give you a five yen discount on your drinks. We love coffee. We love it so much that we draw in 16 billion disposable cups every year. Paper cups are also laminated with plastic. And have plastic lids, so they are hard to recycle and usually just go straight to landfills. What's worse is that studies showing that paper cups filled with hot water release microplastics that eventually enter our bodies, ravage our organs, and negatively impact our health. Straws are another environmental menace. That's because they are small, thin, and easily fall into cracks and drains. Finding their way into the oceans, polluting the water, and ultimately killing marine life. The sea turtle had a plastic straw in his nostril. Oh man! Show me, show me, please. I want to. A hundred thousand marine animals suffocate each year after becoming entangled in plastic, and that's just those we find. More countries are working on banning single-use plastic straws, including China. As of January 1st this year, restaurants throughout the country are banned from providing non-biodegradable plastic straws. I'm off. I'm going grocery shopping, buying some food, and cooking myself a perfect dinner. I'm realizing that the most difficult part of the challenge is going to snacking because nearly all the snacks are wrapped in plastics. So the good news is maybe I can lose several pounds in this week. Wow, that's insane! Nearly all the fruits and veggies are wrapped in plastics. I know it's for、um, sanitary purposes, but why do we need to wrap a corn individually in two layers of plastics? Humans are addicted to this convenient but nearly indestructible material. More than one million bags are used every minute. Worldwide, way back in 2008, China banned retailers from giving out free plastic bags. As a result, it reduced their use in supermarkets and shopping malls by more than two thirds in the following years. The government has also laid out a five-year roadmap to restrict the use of plastic products. A meal without using any plastics. I'm too lazy to cook tonight, so I just order my food online. But before that, I make several phone calls with restaurants to make sure there will be no plastic packaging. That's very important. Here comes my dinner. Oh, ah,、uh, the it's 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 not plastic, right? It's it's not plastic. I think it's aluminum foil. It is to keep warm, right? <laughs> Scared me. Okay. Dang dang. A paper box. 
there were over 17 billion takeout orders nationwide in 2020, and consequently, the plastic bags used in just one day could cover no fewer than 390 football fields. The government has targeted a 30% reduction in single-use plastic takeout utensils in urban areas by 2025. Day four of the challenge, and everything has gone really well so far. I thought I was slowly adjusting to life without plastic. Well, until I found this, a parcel right over there in front of my apartment door. I haven't expected that I would take on this challenge. Otherwise, I won't order anything online because I know for sure there must be some plastic wrap inside. I can't even hear the sound of plastic. So, well, okay, let's just open it. E-commerce and package delivery sectors do make our life much more convenient. By the same time, it enhances dependence on single-use plastics and general thrown-away culture. The government introduced a series of policies. By the end of 2022, couriers in Beijing, Shanghai, and wealthy coastal provinces will have to stop using non-biodegradable plastic packaging, tape, and single-use sacks woven from plastic. By late 2025, the ban will extend nationwide. Well, I didn't work out my challenge though. I've realized how much unnecessary plastic I use and waste on a day-to-day -day basis. And from the past few days,、um, I'm glad to see more places are moving towards a plastic-free future. And I think the easiest way to save on plastic is to bring your own cups,、uh, food containers, and shopping bags. And most people need time to get used to life with much less single-use plastics. But I still call on your guys to take a small step and make some change for our planet.